a lot has been happening on the drone deal that is going to happen between India and United States. While some people are asking for the usefulness of these drones, others are talking about some sort of loss that India is going to have after this particular deal. However, to know more about the usefulness of these drones and how these drones are going to be the game changer, I am joined by someone who has been closely associated with the kind of developments that have happened in the past regarding Predator B drones. I am joined by a former Vice Chief of Indian Navy, Vice Admiral S. N. Gurmode, sir. Sir, you tell me, first of all, you have, you know, you have seen a number of developments related to Predator B drones. In fact, uh, we know that how Indian Navy as of now is using two of the units. How these drones are going to be game changer first and how these are going to be useful for India? The drones which we are, uh, Indian Navy has been using since November 20 have po proved very useful because it provides the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capability. And we have a wide expanse of the Indian Ocean region which needs to be kept under surveillance. And you know that forewarned is forearmed. And therefore, forewarning is an essential requirement of any security that we can provide to the nation. These drones have been used extensively in the Indian Ocean region and also in the land borders on the northern and the western side. And they have provide, uh, provided useful information which have helped our forces to keep, keep a guard on our maritime and land borders. Right. So, sir, a lot ha people are saying about uh, the per unit cost. And they are saying, even when you know, MOD has clarified on the negotiation aspect, they are talking uh, about some sort of loss that India is going to have. You are someone you know, who has got enough of experience as far as maritime domain is concerned. Do you think it is possible that some sort of corruption or some sort of wrongdoing can happen before the finalization of deal? Because MOD has clarified, but still, you know, in your view, uh, what can be the possibility in this case? There is a due process followed in the defense acquisition process. And there are a uh, lot of checks and balances. So there is no question of any corruption. Mm -hmm. The deal would be in the national interest. And firstly, this whole uh, system of procurement has been deliberated for a long time. Uh, the requirement of the drones for the armed forces is actually urgent. It's an operational requirement. Mm -hmm. And presently, uh, the intention is to buy the minimum operational requirement for the Army, Navy, and Air Force, which is required for our security. The intention is to make them indigenously in future, mm -hmm. and therefore, presently, we need a technological leap, okay. uh, which will be pole vaulting technology mm -hmm. that we need. Mm -hmm. And we would be looking for the best, mm -hmm. and it will all be in the national interest. So there is no question of any corruption or any uh, such issue uh, appearing because the uh, process, defense acquisition process is a very, very systematic procedure mm -hmm. where there is a collegiate decision making, there is a joint decision making, and it will be all in the national interest. So there are allegations uh, that, you know, US has got uh, advanced technology as far as drones are concerned. And, you know, they are giving us one outdated technology or outdated drones. There are allegations. As far as uh, the advancement in the technology is concerned, we know that uh, you know we know about the specification of uh, Predator B drones. But do you uh, what, what is uh, your view on the particular allegation? While we say that these are trashes and this is an outdated technology now, uh, that's not correct. The uh, issue about technology is that presently we have just taken uh, the Defence Acquisition Council has given an acceptance of necessity. So there will be a letter of request from the Indian government, right. followed by a letter of offer and acceptance. Mm. And in all this process, due diligence will be applied mm. to get the best technology for the country. Mm. And we are aware of the technology which is available in the world. Mm. And we are not going to accept anything which is less. Mm. And therefore, the technology which will come, which will be one of the best in the world, and we will uh, ensure that that comes. And that is what is the due process which will be followed. So therefore, uh, these are all speculative uh, allegations. I think we must not uh, look, look into that because what uh, the process will be followed will be, in a, in, it's an intention at present. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole process will go, it will follow a due process and there will be a CCS approval uh, which will follow. And the government will take decisions in the national interest to get the best for the country. 
Uh, sir, my last question. We have Indian Ocean region, a vast region, and then we have borders with China and with Pakistan as well. We are getting 31 units initially, and uh, you know, 15, are, if I'm not wrong, 15 are going with Indian Navy, and then 8, eight with uh, Indian Army and Indian Air Force. Any sort of specification, any sort of specific feature that as far as our requirement is concerned in Indian Ocean region and also in the difficult terrains while we talk about our northern borders and eastern and western borders. Any sort of specification that you want to stress on as far as this particular drone deal is concerned or that as far as the Predator B drone is concerned? Uh, I think the specifications have been outlined in the acceptance of necessity. Right. The question is to have a capability of elent the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Hmm. It has got a larger endurance hmm. and the requirement of uh, the uh, surveillance in the sea and on land borders is slightly different. Mm. For when you pin, want to pinpoint a target, because right. at sea we have a moving target, mm. and in land normally there will be maybe will be a moving target, but that will be and and there will be stationary targets, mm. and then we an air targets uh, separately. Mm. So therefore we have sky guardians for the army and uh, air force and sea guardians for the navy. So there are uh, specific differences which will be which are useful, but the fact of the matter is that it is intelligence, surveillance, and uh, reconnaissance. And these drones are initially we are getting technology, but later we would be manufacturing them in India. Right. And uh, there will be local support which will be created. There will be uh, some components which will ma be manufactured locally. Hmm. And it will give a boost to our Indian public sector units. It will give a boost to our R&D. It will give a boost to our MSMEs and also local aero defense manufacturers. So therefore, it is a win-win for the Indian side. Right. So this particular deal is going to be very, very important, not only for our armed forces, but for our country in whole, because in some time from now, we'll, we'll have some sort of uh, assembly happening in uh, India and overhauling in all other related aspects that will be very useful as far as a business and public sector is concerned.